So going into verse 2 now, um, you use the same chord progression as verse 1. Uh, you're just changing up the strumming and the rhythm just ever so slightly. So when you're in this first E, you do just like the intro strum pattern, it's strum pattern 1, you do the down, down, up, up, down, up. And then at the end of that you give it one hit before you go into the D and you do four hits on the D. And then you go into the C and it's back to the normal strumming. But the rhythm should sound like this, so it's... So that's the first uh, progression. I'll play that again. And then you go into the second progression of that verse, and you're back to the normal... Uh, Strum pattern for the verse, which is strum pattern two. So you've got to that. Um. And then we need to the third progression round, uh, where it's like beware, beware, beware. You do four hits on the E, four hits on the D, and then you get to the C, and it's back to normal. So it's. So after each hit, you just do a stop with your hand or with, with your palm. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then we hit to the third time round, the, the fourth time round, I'm just saying the progression. Um, you do the down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, like the intro again. So. So it's the down, down, up, up, down, up on the E, down, down, up, up, down, up on the D. And then you can give one hand that C before building up. Or you can just do the normal pan if you want. Or just down, up, down, up, down, up, just to build up into the chorus. Um, so the second verse should sound like this. singing was a bit off there but the rhythm is all over the place in that bit um, but with a bit of practice I'll be able to get it uh, and so will you guys uh, but the the actual guitar part is relatively easy um, so after this verse 2 you go into chorus 2 uh, and this time um, it's twice as long as the first chorus um, so it's the same chord progression again uh, so it's E D and then C for two, um, but he changes it ever so slightly on the fourth time of that progression. So instead of using this E, he goes to a regular E minor, and then goes back to the D and back to the C. So that'll sound like this uh, with the singing. So we stood over the pavement. So on that last C, you just uh, give it one here and let it ring before going into the bridge. Um, so yeah, like I say, three times round on the normal progression with that E, D to C, and on the fourth time round, uh, it's, it's technically the same progression, but he changes this E to a regular E minor. Uh, and then on the last C, hit it once and let it ring before going into the bridge. Okay, then moving on to the bridge. Um, this uses a slightly different strumming pattern than the choruses and, and the verse and the intro. Um, so I'm going to call this strumming pattern 3 and that will be in the description. Um, so 
instead of going down, 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 up, it's the first half of the trumpet pattern is just down, down, down. So, and then when you get to that up, it's the same place you change um, in trim pattern two. It's just the first half. It's just a bit more spaced out, so it's just three down. So. So the the core the the bridge chords. Um, to start off with, you play one string pattern um, of this C. Uh, but using string pattern two just just for this C at the start. Um, so it's just like the normal C you play in the verse and chorus the intro. But you add in your pinky just like the intro on the third fret of the second string. But you're leaving it there this time. You're not going to take it off or on. So it's just one string pattern on string pattern two, so. And then you're getting into the rest of the bridge. So, uh, the bridge uses uh, two new chords. So it's a C uh, power chord. So it's first finger on the third fret of the fifth string, third finger on the fifth fret of the fourth string, and pinky goes on the fourth fret of the third string. Leave the highest two open and mute that uh, fourth string. You can use your thumb, your first finger or your second finger to mute that string. And then, so in the progression you play that twice. So it'll be a whole string pattern, a string pattern three. And then you go to this E, and that's for half the string pattern. And then you go to this new chord of the C sharp, I'm gonna call it. Um, it has a lot of tension. So to play this, it's first finger on the fourth fret of the fifth string, second finger on the fourth fret of the third string, and then your third finger goes on the fifth fret of the fourth string. Leave the highest to open and mute that fifth string, uh, sixth string, sorry, with your thumb um, or your first finger if you can. And it's half the string pattern, uh, half string pattern three on this chord. So the progression goes around three times of this. So it's one time string pattern on the C, half on the E, half on the C sharp, and that goes around three times. The fourth time, you're playing that C as normal, one string pattern on that C, but then you go into this E, uh, and then you go into the second part of the bridge, which plays exactly the same again. So it's three times that chord progression of the C, E to C sharp. And then the fourth time around, just like part one, you go in one drum pattern on the C, and then you're going back to this E minor. So the reason I've just split it into two parts um, is because on this E, he does a little stop and then goes into the second bit. Um, so if you watch the performance, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so I'll just play it through now, uh, just so you can get a sense of, of what I'm talking about. Just like part one, you go to the E at the end. Um, so you play it once, and then just hit it once, and let it ring. Uh, and then you go into the last chorus, so it's exactly the same as the previous chorus. Um, and then at the very end, the last chord is this E minor. 
Um, so yeah, uh, I think I've covered everything there. Uh, all the streaming patterns and the cores will be in the description. Um, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Uh, I'll be doing some more Pierce the Veil, uh, Sleeping with Sirens, All Time Low, Day to Remember, uh, loads of bands like that. And if you've got any requests, put them in the comments. And hit the like button and all that jazz. So until next time, peace out.